Hey guys, it's Ben from Saguaro Farm. Thanks for uh, joining us today. Uh, today we have part two of our three-part series on how we get our stock tank pool up and ready for the summertime. Part two, we're going to emphasize painting our pool and how we do that process. Part one was all about laying this gravel pad. We'll have it linked in the description down below if you want to go watch part one of this series. Part three, we'll be getting the pool up and ready for swimming and getting the water in it getting the filter attached and everything. But today is part two. We're going to be painting the pool today. There's a few different steps to this process. We'll be uh, vacuum it, uh, vacuuming it out, prepping the surface with the sandpaper. We'll be etching the surface with white vinegar. And then finally, we'll be using a epoxy-based pool paint to paint the inside of this pool and seal the water tight into it. So let's get started. either sand or use a wire brush on the pool to scuff up the surface to allow something for the epoxy paint to stick to. So we vacuumed it out and next we're going to just wire brush and strip the remaining um, oils or anything in here and make that surface nice and rough to allow the paint to stick to the surface that we brush. After the wire brushing we're going to use white vinegar all over the pool where we place it you know, all over, and that actually is what it's called. Is et white vinegar etches the surface, so it allows, it, it cleans off all the oils and debris and stuff. And after you've done that vinegar wash, you don't want to even touch it with your skin, because that could leave a oily residue that the paint won't so have a hard time sticking to. We're not going to wire brush too intently on the um, rubber sealed glue surfaces of this tank, uh, just because that's what the manufacturer used to seal in this tank. Initially, uh, the epoxy still should cover that and you know stick over that pretty well. But we're going to basically our goal is to wire brush the bare metal surface to prep it for epoxy paint. case it calls for white vinegar. We don't quite have enough here. Um, it's probably an eighth of a gallon. But um, I'm gonna see how far it goes and uh, we're going to apply it with the wet rag. We're gonna put it in a five gallon bucket, soak a rag and then just wipe it all over the uh, all over the pool as much as we can. We're probably gonna get more dust, more grit, things like that off in the process of wiping. Start in the middle and work my way out and then do the side.
So I've got the etching process completed. The vinegar down there has a lot of dirt mixed in with it. Ideally, I would use a better uh, or a more higher quality quantity of vinegar to, to keep that dirt from going in the pool. But um, in this case, I'm working with an extremely limited supply of vinegar. So I got the, uh, the outside of it done last. Now what we do is we just, we let the etching, the acid do its job for up to an, or even over an hour. Um, in this case for me, I'm coming back to it later this afternoon to do the next step. Next step we do is wipe down the pool with some soapy water um, and that will get any last bit of residues off that um, affect the epoxy paint coat from sticking. So once we do this step, then we can move on to painting it. Got some dirty water in here now. This cleaning was a success, and we took off some of the uh, dirt and grease layer that was uh, remaining on there. And now we'll be ready to coat with epoxy once it's dry. So now it is time to paint. The product we're using is Pond Shield Non Toxic Epoxy Paint. This is the sky blue color. With any epoxy, it, it's a two part setup. So you this this is, contains two parts to one part of. Part A is two parts to one part of part B, and that, uh, once these mix together, that solidifies the epoxy into a waterproof liner. A couple other things we're using, a bucket to mix them with. Anything that this stuff is going to be in contact with, we're planning to um, discard because once it solidifies, it's no good anymore. So any brush rollers or brushes, we're going to discard all of that. These in a, I think it's a 1.5 quart kit. So we're, we're doing two kits and they're about 50 bucks each on Amazon. So about a hundred bucks total for the stock, in, inside of the stock tank. On the outside of our stock tank, we're gonna plan to paint just a normal exterior paint, you know, like a white color, uh, because it won't be prone to having water uh, sitting on it continuously. You wanna the use algae. Al and algae and stuff too. And that's actually why, yeah, it won't be prone to algae either. That's actually why we're doing the sky blue color to try to prevent algae buildup in our pool as the color blue deters algae from growing. Another thing we're going to use is uh, we want to do the smoothest roller heads or best quality for sm the smooth surfaces. Let's uh, get started mixing this stuff. Start painting the sides and then work our way to paint the floor of the, the inside of the pool with this stuff.
actually did it. So um, we painted the side of the pool yesterday. We wanted to get the whole thing done, um, but what happened is the paint started to solidify in the bottom of the bucket after like 10 minutes. So we scrambled to apply this, uh, just the side application, and we had to throw out about half the paint because it was already solidified in the bottom of the bucket. And the manufacturer says it's not supposed to do that till about one hour after you combine the part A, part B. So the um, manufacturer's directions were wrong, or maybe it's, we were thinking because we live in the desert and we did it on like a 90 degree day, uh, 90 degree evening, that uh, it started to do that. So we had to order two more, uh, two more kits of paint and we're gonna cover the floor, we're gonna apply it as fast as we can. We're gonna have one solid application followed by a period of another solid application. And we're, so we're gonna do that now. today in the morning rather than at the evening last time. It's 84 degrees. The product is not solidifying as fast as when we did it in the evening a night ago. It's uh, it's it's gone on really well. Doing our last last touches here. Second coat. The total was uh, four kits to cover at this 10 foot stock. It probably would have been three kits if everything worked well. We wasted at least one whole kit.
We finished up the paint in the pool. It didn't work out as we planned. Uh, the product was, uh, it solidified the first two um, batches we used, so we had to order twice the amount. But all in all, it came out pretty well. It's held water now for over a week, and we've been swimming in it, using it a lot to cool off, and it's such a relief for the summer. We're gonna hold off on painting the outside of the pool. We will do that, but it'll be later, um, because it's been so hot in the daytime, and it's hard for us to get outside and paint. Um, so, but we'll end up painting the outside as well. We already sanded the outside and prepped it. And our next step in this video is we're going to install a pool filter eventually. But for now, we're just going to be able to use it and cool off for the summer. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give us a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time at Saguaro Farm. <laughs> <laughs>